Welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a dynamic drop down list in Google Spreadsheet. So, watch this video very carefully till the end. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell button so that you can get regular updates and notifications from our channel. So, let's begin this tutorial. So, as you can see here, a table and we will create a dynamic drop down list from this list. You can also create a unique list and create the drop down list from there. So, to create a dynamic drop down list, the range has to be dynamic. So, so to create the dynamic name range, click on any cell where you want to get the drop down list, then go to data, then data validation. And here in the criteria, you have to select list from range. Then here in the range or formula, click select data range. Then click here and select the range that you want. But remember, while creating the dynamic drop down list, you have to take some extra cells that you want to grow then click ok and then click on save now here you can see we got apple orange pineapple guava strawberry and grapes so here if we type suppose any new item a b c you can see in the drop down list we got a b c but if we add more item D, E, F, G, H, I, here you can see in the drop down list we got up to G. We do not get H and I because we have selected up to this range. But if you don't know that how long will be the list, do not take any static range. Just again go to this cell, go to data, data validation and in place of this range, you have to select the complete A range, but we will start it from A2. So click here, type here dollar $A, dollar $2 and here just type here a2 colon a then click here ok then save now you can see we got all the items we have h i if i add here j k you can see all are added automatically so in this way you can get a dynamic drop down list if you have any problem or any query regarding this tutorial please write me on the comment section i will surely reply you thanks for watching till the end see you soon in the next tutorial